Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be going over some brand new gameplay that actually came out just a few minutes ago from IGN and this is actual gameplay. For those of you guys that were kind of hating on yesterday's video saying that it was mostly cinematic gameplay, it wasn't actual gameplay that you would normally see in a game, this is raw gameplay from the actual game itself. It is a work in progress, as you guys will know, up in the top left-hand corner of the screen, but this comes directly from IGN. I will link the full video down in the description below if you guys want to check out the actual video from IGN, but basically what they're doing in this gameplay is they are going into a wolf encampment clearing out all the enemies and everything like that. That is the actual mission that was given to them. So you go into this wolf encampment, take out all of the enemies. There are very high level enemies and that is actually our first look at enemy levels. And you guys will see in here that there is a bunch of enemy drones that are actually flying around that you'll see that several times on screen and stuff like that. And these things are going to be absolutely insane to take down. So we're going to go down through some of the hidden details that you guys may have missed. If you guys have already seen this gameplay, there's a bunch of little things that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And I'm going to actually took a bunch of screenshots and we're going to be going through breaking all of these screenshots down from the actual gameplay itself. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So the first image I'm actually going to pop up on screen here was right at the start of the actual gameplay. And this kind of gives you your first look at the actual HUD that we're going to be seeing in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. The minimap down in the bottom right hand corner, you know, that looks very similar to how it was in Ghost Recon Wildlands. But one of the first things you're going to notice that's a little bit different is the classes, which are the other characters that this person is actually playing with up in the top right hand corner. And no, this is not AI teammates guys there are no AI teammates in Ghost Recon Breakpoint these are other players that he is actually playing with and you guys can see there that we have Fury, Nomad, Vasily and Fixit so you guys will notice above there that it says without a trace on all four of those I believe that is sort of like a placeholder or something to kind of cross out what class they are running but you can see that there are some logos next to their actual icons there that shows what class they are running so up at the top there you can see that that is the Panther class so the next one you can see down there the number three slot is the sharpshooter class that's pretty straightforward you know you kind of have you know the little crosshair zooming in on something now the other two characters what looks to be like a grizzly bear so honestly we did hear a while back that some new classes and stuff like that with ghost recon breakpoint some of the other ones that were rumored were the assault class and i believe it was the engineer class what i believe this class to be is the assault class just because you can kind of notice throughout the trailer that the two characters that are using this class are mainly kind of using an assault rifle or the light machine gun like the big dude that we actually got to saw in the reveal live stream that's nothing confirmed guys that's just kind of my opinion i don't know if that's what it is or not now moving over to the bottom left hand of the screen you guys will notice this is where all of your weapon input and stuff like that is going to be and the first thing that jumped out at me when i saw this was the lbrb down in the bottom left hand corner so what i think this is actually going to be and we actually saw it in the trailer and we're going to be kind of checking that out here in a second in some of these other screenshots but i think that is going to be your special ability and you have to kill enemies and do you know requirements or objectives and stuff like that and it's going to fill that bar up and then you're going to be able to lbrb to equip your special you know skill depending on which class you're actually using and then next to it you can see there that this weapon that he's holding here has a 50 round magazine with 175 rounds in reserve as well as it is suppressed and then right below that is where we saw in the actual reveal live stream that there's kind of like a weapon wheel that has all of your equipment as you can see there we have the lb which is for the i believe that's the syringe the health syringe um, that brings back your health you know per per injury slot and then next to that you can see there that up on the d-pad changes your rate of fire right on the d-pad i'm not sure if that's like a, a ping or something like that maybe down on the d-pad would be like your grenade launcher if it is actually equipped with this weapon and left on the d-pad there you can see that that is to basically toggle on or off the suppressor now moving on to the second image so this one here we do see a few more things that we didn't see in the first one obviously up in the top left hand corner it says plus 322 i believe this to be some sort of an XP that you're earning while you're actually, you know, taking out enemies and stuff like that. It's going to fill up. You can kind of see right above the number that looks like there's a faint bar. I'm assuming that's some sort of an XP bar because we do know that there are character levels in this game, as well as you can see that they just went loud and all of the enemies around the base have the exclamation point above their head, which I believe to me, I think I would think that that means that they are alerted to your presence, but they do not know your exact location because you notice that they are yellow. They're not red. Now, moving on to the third image that we're going to be talking about here and this kind of gives you an up close look of the over the shoulder you know view holding what looks to be either like a sig or maybe an ak variant or something like that 
pretty cool looking weapon, but you notice there that it pops up with the heads up display that one of your allies is down, get close to him to hold X to help him. So I'm honestly thinking that they're playing on Xbox with this, obviously the RB, the LB, you know, press X to help him and stuff like that. Not a whole lot else in this actual image here, but now moving on to image number four, you can see here that she is actually aiming at a drone, which is a level 80 drone. And then you can also see that kind of like the little indicators down to the left of her, her actual scope says drone alert. So there's other drones that are kind of back to her left that are detecting her that are probably going to engage as well as at the top of the scope you can see the frag indicator whether or not I believe that's probably an enemy frag coming towards this character because obviously it's red now moving on to the fifth image now this one is actually from the sharpshooter class and you can see over in the bottom left which is the LBRB special ability has been popped it's basically a third of the way down so for those of you guys that do not know the special ability of the sharpshooter class is the ability to load three high damage rounds into the rifle itself obviously here he's already shot the first one that's why the bar is about two-thirds full pretty straightforward I'm really liking this and you can see there that he has a six times scope so that actually wasn't a ping on the other screenshot that is basically to change your magnification of your scopes right on the d-pad over here in screenshot number six this is our first shot at nomad and you can see here that this is he's definitely using a different weapon what looks to be some sort of variation of an m4 he only has 20 rounds in the magazine and you guys will see later that he's actually using this in the single shot fire mode but overall a pretty cool looking gun now moving on to the next screenshot here we can kind of see that down in the middle of the screen there's two enemies that have died and you can see that the one on the left actually has a little plus sign down there and then the one on the right has what looks to be bullets so from this we can take the enemies drop items so obviously the one on the left drops some sort of a med pack or something like that the one on the right dropped ammo and then you can kind of see there kind of to the left side of the screen there there's those three markers over there that are gray either those those are his teammates. I would assume those are kind of the markers for your teammates that are kind of off screen. Now moving on to the eighth screenshot. So this one, the only thing in here that I kind of wanted to touch base on is the equipment that's down in the bottom left hand corner. It kind of looks like what I would call like the seeker mine or the seeker grenade from Tom Clancy's a division. So I don't think that that is going to be in the game. But one of the things that's known to be in the Ghost Recon franchise is the sensor grenade. This was in Ghost Recon Future Soldier and this was one of the key elements of equipment in that game. So are we seeing a return of a sensor grenade? grenade who knows I would be honestly I would be stoked for that but it also could be some sort of a seeker mind kind of like Tom Clancy's a division now moving on to the ninth screenshot so this one as you can see this person is wielding a shotgun obviously there's only one shot left as we can see kind of down in the bottom left hand corner but the thing that I wanted to point out here is this little white icon that's kind of right in front of the gun so we did see that the other enemies dropped a med pack as well as ammo but this logo is different so if you guys actually go back over to I believe it was the ultimate edition of Ghost Recon Breakpoint it came with scale credits so scale credits were going to be sort of like an in-game currency that's what they actually said over on the forums and this logo if you compare it to the logo from the actual picture from the ultimate edition of the game you can see that that logo is the same so it looks like enemies are going to be dropping some sort of in-game currency as well as ammo and med packs and i would assume they're going to drop weapons only time will tell but now moving on to the 10th screenshot here we can see that logo again as well as there's an ammo logo there kind of in the middle of the scope so this enemy obviously drops some sort of the in-game currency as well as the ammo and then you can also see there that it says press b while in bushes to become less visible so i'm not exactly sure how this is going to work if this is going to be something that's similar to how the prone camouflage works except when you're in some sort of cover whether that be bushes or water or something like that it's going to make it harder for enemies to spot you who knows Knows, but I thought that was pretty cool now moving on to the 11th screenshot here the one thing that I wanted to take note here is right in the middle of the screen it says kill enemies as close as possible to fill your panther technique gauge quicker so that pretty much says that the the panther technique is kind of like the special that's down in the bottom right hand corner if you kill enemies as close as possible with the panther class that's going to give that bar it's going to make that bar fill up much faster than if you're actually taking enemies out from a distance so we can only assume that with the sharpshooter class it's going to work the same way but the farther you are away from the enemy that's going to obviously fill up that bar faster now moving on to the last screenshot that we're going to be checking out today this one is at the very very end of the gameplay this is where they actually complete the mission and you can see that there's some sort of logo over the top of that drone that like is, is down on the ground who knows what that is it's obviously some sort of an item that it dropped we already saw that they dropped med kits as well as in-game currency as well as ammo but that is a different logo altogether so who knows maybe that's some sort of you know like like a special item or something with the drone could be a weapon who knows and then also over on the right hand side you can see some rewards for
for actually completing the mission itself. You can see there that we have some e-screds. So that is the same logo that we actually saw on the ground. So obviously the in-game currency is called the e-screds and that is what is actually being dropped on the ground as well as being earned through the completion of this mission as well as we can see plus 60 faction points. So we did hear that there are going to be other factions and stuff in Ghost Recon Breakpoint from the reveal live stream and obviously with this being on the right hand side of the screen that means that this was maybe a faction mission and you got 60 faction points for completing this mission as well as you got some ammunition and I believe it says plus three bandages there. So those are all the rewards for actually completing this mission. So that is pretty much all for the brand new information that we got from this trailer. If there's anything that I missed, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below as well as let me know your thoughts on this gameplay. Obviously it was very short. I believe it was less than two minutes long, but this was really our first look at the actual in-game mechanics and in-game actual raw gameplay of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. And I really want to know your guys' thoughts down in the comment sections below. So make sure to drop some comments down there and let me know your thoughts. But that's pretty much all of the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, you guys are excited about the E3 press conference being right around the corner. You know we're going to be seeing some more from Ghost Recon Breakpoint on Monday. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new. So I've mentioned this in several other videos over the last few weeks saying that more than 75% of you guys that are actually watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Well, over the last couple weeks, that number has actually went up to almost 80 85% of you guys that are watching my videos are not actually subscribed to the channel. So if you guys enjoy the content, you guys want to stay up to date on all things with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of that moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.